welcome back to the uh, webinar series so in the previous part we have talked about the various specifications of the uh, normal pn junction diode so in that we have described about uh, um, uh, the forward uh, voltage and then the forward current and the reverse breakdown current so in this we will talk further on the specifications of the pn junction diode so now in the previous uh, webinar we have told that the maximum current that is possible through the uh, uh, diode is given by a characteristic called if which is the forward current so in in the uh, specification we have seen that um, the forward current is 1 amp but when we discuss in detail about the diode is it that only 1 amp is allowed through the diode yes in reality when you connect the diode in series uh, like as shown here with the input and then diode and then the output uh, the further load is connected at the output in this scenario you see that the maximum current that a diode allows in series is 1 amp now what happens is <coughs> um, this current 1 amp is not just the um, current that is allowed through the diode at all temperatures like this is given through a small graph in the data sheet now if you see um, the maximum current is 1 amp as shown here but as the temperature increases this is a graph of temperature versus current so as the temperature is increasing around 75 degrees centigrade you see that the, the current starts dropping that means if you are using this diode in a scenario where the operating temperature goes beyond 75 then no more the forward current of 1 amp stands the, uh, the, the diode can allow only current below 1 amp so as it goes further at 150 the total current that is allowed through the diode is zero that means even though you apply voltage of uh, um, forward um, voltage which is which makes the diode to conduct the total current that that goes through the diode is zero so even though you apply any voltage the current would be zero so this is one scenario where while selecting a diode in your application matters a lot first of all you need to know what is the operating temperature of your circuit and then the, if you are using a diode in your circuit you need to check the data sheet whether over that entire temperature range the current is pro, uh, is as given in the data sheet or not so this characteristic is very important while checking the um, diode now <coughs> going further forward surge current of the diode so this is one more characteristic of the diode uh, in, in fact specification of the diode which need to be taken care now what happens is when you power on a circuit suddenly you see a sudden increase in current because when you power on the circuit sees a sudden change in the load and you see a sudden spike of uh, uh, current that is flowing through so this is called a forward surge current and this forward surge current is for a matter of uh, milliseconds and this characteristic of the diode is very important as mostly you use the diode at the input of your circuits mm, the uh, this surge must be able to be handled by this diode otherwise uh, the diode may burn out so in these scenarios if you see the data sheet you see that the, the surge current is 30 amps and 45 amps which is very high that means the surge handling capability of the diode of a, a 1 and 4 double zero 7 which we are considering here is very high so <coughs> so this and if you see uh, this is for a very minimal a time of 8.3 milliseconds for a sine wave input and for a square wave the, the pulse sh should not go beyond 1 millisecond so this characteristic is very important while considering the um, forward surge current uh, of the diode so and this this graphs which are included in the diode data sheet give, gives you a clear indication of forward surge current of the diode based on the pulse you can if you see this based on the pulse width you can see that um, the forward surge current is reduced okay so this is given at a pulse width of 1 millisecond as pulse width increases the forward surge current gets reduced thank you for watching